One of the nice things about MATLAB is we don't have to use linear algebra syntax or mathematical operations if we don't want to. MATLAB allows us to do what's called element by element operations, where essentially we can treat each matrix as if we're just doing addition or subtraction, except we can also now do multiplication, uh, division, and um, exponentiation. So let's say I want to say that A times the elements in B plus C divided by A plus B squared. Let's say I want to do this type of operation with each set of elements inside of my arrays here, inside of my vectors. So I want to do negative 5 times negative 2 plus 1 divided by negative 5 plus negative 2 squared. And then repeat for the same number, 9 times 3 plus 2 over 9 plus 3 squared. And then keep going down for each of my set of numbers. If I want to add two arrays or two vectors together, I just use my normal addition. So I would just say a plus b. That's normal. Same thing with subtraction. If I wanted to multiply the elements of two vectors together, I use the dot asterisk now. I put a dot in front of my asterisk. So that means that I don't want to do normal matrix multiplication. I want to take this number times this number, this number times this number and then keep going. Same thing if I want to divide two vectors, I use dot divide. And then if I want to take the values in one vector, raise it to the values in another vector, I would use dot caret. So if I wanted to write this operation here in MATLAB, I would say a dot asterisk b plus c dot divide a plus b dot caret two. Keep in mind, even though two is a scalar, I still need to use the dot because b dot two is essentially as if I'm trying to say b times b, which I can't do that with this vector here based on the principles of when we can do matrix uh, multiplication. So keep that in mind, we can do element by element operations. This is really useful when we are trying to multiply two vectors together and calculate mathematical functions. Um, and we'll see lots of examples of um, this as well. But this indicates that we do not have to do the linear algebra rules if we do not want to. We have an alternative that MATLAB provides us.